Hello everyone, my name is Christina and I'm a medical student studying at Newcastle University and if you're new here on this channel I talk about medicine, productivity, uni life and self-improvement. In this video, because back to school season and moving to uni season is just around the corner, I thought it'd be really good to share some of the most forgotten items that people forget to pack for uni. So I'm sure you guys are all binge watching a bunch of videos about what to pack for uni, uni halls and all that good stuff but I thought it'd be really good to share with you guys some of the items that people usually forget to pack. So I'm gonna get straight into it, starting with number one, which is a face mask. So obviously with most unis being um, online now and not having much face-to-face -face teaching, I think it's gonna be absolutely essential that you have not just one, but like a number of face masks with you. Um, obviously try and match them to your outfits or whatever floats your boat. Just make sure you pack a number of face masks. I'm not quite sure what a good number is, but I reckon like one for every other day. I don't know, cause you can wash them obviously. But yeah, don't forget your face mask. This probably has become your new like favorite accessory and your new staple, but yeah that's definitely an essential for you guys this year the second most forgotten item that i researched is gadget insurance so obviously most people are going to be taking very expensive laptops very expensive gadgets very expensive phones to uni and sometimes if your accommodation is really generous they'll include gadget insurance in like the cost of everything but usually that isn't the case unfortunately for me it was last year but definitely i'd recommend if you've got a very expensive laptop a macbook one of the really fancy ones definitely try and look into getting some gadget insurance yes i know it's an extra cost but you know three four pounds a month um is nothing just knowing that at least you know your gadget or your laptop is insured and at least then you can just be a bit more comfortable knowing that if you leave it around if it's stolen if anything happens to it then it's all going to be okay another thing that a lot of people forget is important documents so if you're planning on getting a job while you're at uni or maybe your course requires a dbs check so maybe you're going to be working with members of the public you'll definitely need some important documents i recommend bringing things like your passport driving license ni card or ni letter your um, official university documents so maybe the confirmation email or pdf that shows that you've been accepted and then your accommodation documents as well i think a lot of people forget this because they think i want to leave my passport at home um but like if you if you want to get a job you will need things like that just to prove that you're eligible to work and normally your driving license doesn't count so your id um to go into nightclubs and stuff like that your driving license works just fine as, as a form of id but in terms of getting a job and your dbs check you will need your passport sometimes your birth certificate works as well sometimes you need both so yeah i'd recommend just bringing a couple of those items just to make sure that if you want to get a dbs check or get a job anything like that then um you're covered so this was one that i actually forgot and i had to buy it when i got to uni so bring two sets of bedding so you might be thinking oh i've got a really nice duvet set i'm all set to go my bed's gonna look really nice but when it comes to washing it unless you're going to be really quick with washing it and drying it or maybe airing it in your room you'll need two sets of bedding so you'll need one for that's on your bed and then you'll need a backup for when the other one's in the wash if that makes sense you might get away with just one but obviously i think it's nice to bring two that way you can actually spice up your room in a way like you can change your bedding and stuff but yeah don't forget to bring two sets of bedding and another one which i'm sure you guys have seen on lots of other videos i definitely have is to bring sliders or slippers this one i guess isn't a forgotten item but i think some people still do forget this you do not want to be walking around barefoot or even with socks on some of the university floors honestly guys it is disgusting like I can't even begin to describe how some how filthy some of the floors are like honestly bring some slippers you'll also need some nice pajamas one of the worst bits about first year was that at random times in the middle of the night you'd have the fire alarm go off and it, me it meant that you'd have to get up out of bed in the middle of the night and go line up outside and do like the fire drill thing you know where you line up outside just to be like oh yeah the fire alarm's going off let's line up outside that kind of thing and it was so annoying especially if you're wearing like some ugly pajamas like I used to wear scruffy t-shirts and jogging bottoms but for you guys this is why i put it on this list pack some nice pajamas because you'd honestly be surprised the fire alarm goes off at random times and it's literally not even at regular intervals so like it might be every single night for a week and then you might never hear about it again for like months so you never know when it's going to go off so pack some nice pajamas that you don't mind random people seeing you in in the middle of the night just so that you don't feel like a bit awkward when you're like oh i look scruffy but yeah pack some nice pajamas and also pack a laundry bag so this is something that i think most people forget but when you've got your laundry basket or whatever in your room when you want to go to the actual laundry room to do the washing um you'll have to carry your stuff from your room there in something and i think most people think that they can use a basket and stuff this normally isn't big enough so i'd recommend having like a designated laundry bag to carry everything in 
and this just makes it easier so that you're not having like your laundry out in the open so people can like see it and stuff it just makes life easier if you can carry the stuff from your room to the laundry room in like um in like a bag it just makes it easier than a basket in my opinion but if a basket works for you then that's okay too a toilet brush this one is so weird because you would you would never think of it but most accommodation like uh rooms don't come with a toilet brush and mine definitely didn't when i eventually showed up at my room for the first day i realized that oh my gosh there's not a toilet brush which i was kind of glad to be honest i think it would be weird if there was one um but thankfully wilco has them for super duper cheap so i just got one from there but yeah i think it's worth maybe waiting until you get to your room find out if you have one and then maybe getting a new one but most rooms don't come with one so maybe if you want to get one beforehand you can do but yeah don't forget a toilet brush hangers so i don't know anyone's room who came with hangers you'll definitely need to get some and even if your room does come with some it's worth having like a few extras anyway if you've got a lot of clothes and yeah i highly recommend the microfiber ones they're super duper good they keep your clothes like stuck on them and they don't fall off so a first aid kit or plasters bandages first aid kit all, all stuff like that is absolutely essential at uni especially after like parties and stuff and nights out um it's just really nice to have them keep them in a place like your kitchen or like a communal area where everyone knows where they are that way if you've come back from like a crazy night out and someone's hurt themselves you can like bandage them up um or if you want to keep one for your room then that's perfectly okay too but um it's definitely an essential you'll definitely need it at some point at uni because yeah the state that people come in after a night out sometimes it's just a bit mad so yeah definitely make sure you remember to pack a first aid kit batteries so i actually didn't need batteries at any point during my first year but i know a couple of other people did and they're super duper cheap so it's worth packing a few of them with you just because you never know what you'll need them for even if you don't have anything that requires batteries you never know like your tv remote in your um like in your kitchen or communal area you might need batteries and stuff like that so yeah definitely make sure you don't forget batteries I completely forgot because when I went to uni in this in like the in late summer it was like September time it was really nice weather and it was really warm but I didn't pack an umbrella I completely forgot that I'd need one at some point so I remember I had to buy one from TK Maxx um eventually but yeah you guys don't forget an umbrella you'll definitely need one especially knowing the weather in the UK it's so hot and cold you might be going in like September time which is quite nice weather but eventually it'll get really cold and dribbly and just wet so you'll need an umbrella at some point and last but not least is board games. This one will come in super duper handy in your first few weeks settling in when you're trying to get to know people, trying to get to know your flatmates and stuff like that. Um, having board games is just a great way to make friends, having them out in the communal area um, and just playing with people and stuff. Especially if you're someone that's not into drinking, I think this is a really good one to bring just because you can at least be like, oh, I've got Connect4 who wants to come play and stuff like that. And then people will come play with you. So yeah, if you've got some board games at home, definitely bring them. If not, um, they're super duper cheap on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. I'll link to some of them down in the description box below um connect four is always popular everyone loves uno um i think what's that there's one that's like a mystery one that people like i'll link them all in the description box below but definitely get some board games so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this list i just wanted to include some things that people normally forget to bring to uni um people tend to bring loads of kitchen stuff loads of bathroom stuff stuff like that um try not to overpack guys overpacking definitely is a hassle um because your room tends to be quite small so you don't want to bring too much stuff but i wanted to include some of the things that people normally forget to bring um so yeah worst case scenario guys you can not bring enough stuff and then always buy them when you get here so i really hope you enjoyed this video later on in the week or maybe next week i'm going to be sharing a video on what I wish I knew before starting uni some of the things that you guys should definitely know before you start um, your journey of university so stay tuned for that and make sure you subscribe and thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one bye so obviously with the new new new